Binge Watchers, where we talk about the stories and characters we love in the shows they live in. My name is Ron, and let's talk about the Hulu original, 112263. 112263 is an adaptation of a Stephen King novel of the same name, and it tells the story of a man who goes back in time to prevent the JFK assassination from ever happening. This show is what you may call an event series. It has eight episodes, it tells a story from start to finish, and as of making this video, there are no plans for a season two. The first thing I have to say about this show is that it doesn't feel like science fiction. This isn't your typical time travel show as they get all the time travel stuff out of the way in the very first episode. The show takes place almost entirely in the 60s and they don't waste any time explaining the mechanics of time travel. The show just says there's time travel and this is what these characters chose to do with it. The premise is that Al, the owner of a diner in a small town in Maine, discovered a time portal or a rabbit hole as they call it. Basically you walk in the closet and you walk out in 1960. All always on the same date, always on the same time. After experimenting with the rabbit hole for some time, Al decides that the best use for it is to stop the JFK assassination from ever happening. But Al is not really up to the task himself anymore, so he recruits his friend Jake. My favorite part about this show is that Jake is not a spy or an agent. He doesn't have a specific skill set or any kind of training really. He's an English teacher. He's just a guy. I like this because as Jake gets caught up in conspiracies and a lot of these spy-like things, the only references that he has about how these things are supposed to work are the same references that we have. Movies and TV. I mean, unless you're an actual spy. Are you a spy? Who sent you? The main story is interesting and compelling, but the show constantly gets sidetracked. It felt that the show needed to fill up some space with more things other than the main story, so you have your by the numbers love story and a few other side stories that were interesting but I felt just took up too much time. The story about Jake trying to figure out who really killed President Kennedy and how he can stop it, that's what I want to see. I get that we needed other stuff around that main story to build Jake's character and to learn more about him and give him more stuff to do, but I feel that the show just got too distracted by them, at least some of the time. The show does a great job in tying everything back together in the end. The story feels solid and it has an ending. They could have easily just left things hanging to open up the possibility for a season two, but that probably would have sucked. The ending itself I thought was pretty predictable and not very exciting, but it was satisfying because it's an ending. The show told the story. Not all shows do that at all. The performances in the show are definitely good, but I would say uneven. James Franco in the lead role does a great job in capturing the guy who's out of his depth, has no idea what he's doing, but is trying to live up to the task. It's kind of weird because I do think James Franco was a good fit for this role, and I do think he did a great job, but I personally don't really like his style of delivery. Do you know what I mean? Do you know when you can recognize a good performance out of an actor, but you just don't connect with his style. Something else that this show suffers from, but I can't really fault them for, because any time travel show that doesn't want to cross over into Doctor Who ridiculousness will suffer from this, is convincing people that time travel is a thing. Let me put it like this. If my wife, who I trust and love more than any other person in the world, told me today that she is in fact from the future, it would still take some convincing and some proof. Are you, are you from the future? Are you a spy? But I have to say, to the show's credit, there are three times in the show where a character needs to be convinced that time travel is in fact a thing, and only one of those times has this problem. Bottom line, should you watch. 112263 is a great looking show that tells an interesting story, but just gets distracted too often. It's not quite the incredible show I was hoping for it to be. It's not Hulu's House of Cards just yet. If you don't have a Hulu subscription, it's probably not worth getting it just for this show. But I gotta say, I've been loving Hulu Hulu lately, so if you do have a Hulu subscription and you like spy stories, because this is way more of a spy story than a time travel story, then definitely check out this show. It's probably not gonna blow you away, but it's still gonna be a good time, and at eight hours, it's short enough to be worth it. So my question for you is, have you watched 112263 and what do you think about it? Have you read the book? And if you have, how does it compare? And also, are you a spy? Tell me the truth. If you're gonna be talking about spoilers, please use spoiler tags in your comments. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out a lot. And remember, you can go to bingewatchers.space slash vote and vote on what gets reviewed next on this channel. And if you're finding Binge Watchers for the first time, welcome. I'd like to invite you to join the Binge Watchers community. Come talk about TV with us. It's a lot of fun. Subscribe to the channel. But in any case, keep binging. And I will see you next time.
awkward. Yeah.